Hi, I'm John with FewTech Technical Support, and this is an introductory video on the FewTech IHH 500. In this video, I'll go over some of the specifications, some of the available models, benefits of a system calibration, I'll go over briefly the available Sensit software, and some of the features that make the FewTech IHH 500 unique. The IHH 500 is an intelligent digital handheld display. It is operated by a rechargeable battery, it's Rojas compliant and CE approved. Comes in two different versions, there's an Elite version and a Pro. The Elite version has a capability of measuring from encoders such as those available in our TRS 605 rotary torque sensor and it can measure for angle and speed. The IHH 500 is capable of up to 4800 samples per second. It can store up to 14 different sensor profiles or calibrations. It supports TED's template 30 and 33. It can capture up to 21,000 measurement points for data logging and has a first peak and first valley function. The IHH 500 has a USB output as well as streaming ASCII output. There is an analog output voltage available of 0 to 5 volts DC or plus and minus 5 volts DC. There are several current ranges available on the IHH 500. There's an output of 0 to 20, 4 to 20, 0 to 25, and 5 to 25 milliamps. The IHH 500 also offers two individual solid state relays that can be used with the alarm functions in the IHH 500. There are four binder connectors available on the IHH 500. The very first one is a two pin connector which is for the power supply. The next one is a four pin connector which is for USB. There's an eight pin connector for the analog and alarm connection and there's a 12 pin connector for your sensor. More wiring information can be found in the IHH 500 manual. The IHH 500 Pro comes with a universal power supply adapter as well as an international plug kit. The IHH 500 Elite comes with a Pelican case, the Sensit software, a power supply adapter, USB cable, support bracket, an analog alarm mating connector, and a sensor mating connector. There are several benefits to gaining a system calibration for the FewTech IHH 500 because in addition to gaining an A2LA or NIST traceable calibration of your instrument and sensor together, the binder connector for your sensor will get soldered to your sensor and a system profile will get created in the IHH 500 which results in a plug and play type of usability. There are several benefits of the Sensit software for the IHH 500. One of the benefits is that the IHH 500 can be remotely controlled through the Sensit software. There is also the ability to upload the data logging information from the IHH 500 into the Sensit software where it can be graphed and evaluated. There is also a live graphing method available in the Sensit software that shows a graph of real time information from the IHH 500. The live graphing method can be used with encoder information from sensors such as our TRS-605 rotary torque sensors to display and record information such as angle and speed. Additionally, all the results from data logging and live graphing can be exported to Excel. There are several benefits of the IHH 500 that make it unique. One of the best features is that the IHH 500 has an LCD display which shows information such as the engineering units that you're currently measuring in. Additionally, the IHH 500 can accept a large array of inputs, which means the IHH 500 can be used with millivolt per volt sensors and amplified sensors with voltage output and current outputs. Additionally, the IHH 500 Elite has the ability to read encoder information which can result in the capture of angle and speed information from many rotary torque sensors. The IHH 500 also has a very rugged feel. Additionally, the IHH 500 is battery operated. Couple that with the ability to store up to 14 different channel profiles or system calibrations and you have a very versatile on-the-go instrument. 
In all, the FuTech IHH500 is a very versatile device that has the ability to be used with on-the-go applications that require a high-precision portable instrument. For more information, go to www.futech.com.